I'm making a video using my camera because I've managed to use all the space on my MacBook and I don't know how the hell I've done it but I have so I can't record using iMovies. Anyway, um, I want to talk about a couple of things that I've been thinking about quite a lot recently and I thought it's about time I made another video, a proper one, instead of messing around on iMovie. Um, I had a load of stuff going off uh, recently, uh, some of it a bit too personal to talk about on YouTube. Um, most of it I kind of covered in the video before my last one about my birthday. Um, I'm going to start with uh, the name thing. Um, I talked about different names that I was considering using in uni and by just be known as um, and I think I came up with three um, that's been closed down to two uh, I came to the decision I didn't want to have Dylan anymore because I didn't have any kind of connection with that name so it came down to Chris or it came down to Alex and I want to talk a little bit about why I chose those two names. Um, I'm going to go with Chris. I'll, I'll explain about um, why I chose Chris first. Um, when I was going to be born, um, my mum was told that me and my twin sister were going to be boys, which kind of I've always thought maybe I should have been born a boy anyway and there was something genetically went wrong and I was born a girl but um, my mum was told me and my sister were going to be boys so she thought of two names and I was going to be called Christopher and my sister was going to be called John or Henry I can't remember which one it was it was one of those two but I was going to be called Christopher so I came up with that because I have some kind of connection to that name and um, it's quite close phonetically to how my name at the moment is, which is, I get called Trish quite a lot. Um, so Chris, Trish, I would kind of respond to it more than I would any other name. But I also thought of Alex because to me, Alex seems like more of a gender neutral name. Like I know loads of girls that are called Alex. I know loads of guys that are called Alex. There isn't any definite gender that's for, uh, for the name um, whereas with Chris I would probably you would probably put it with more of a masculine um, name so Alex to me seemed a better choice I felt more comfortable with it I like the name um, I've spoken to my personal tutor about it uh, at university and he said there wouldn't be a problem with changing my known name to that name, to Alex, uh, on the system so that it came up in registration, it came up on some documents, although my actual birth name would have to be there obviously, there is, he said that there is a possibility of, of changing that to Alex to make me feel more comfortable. Um, which kind of brings me on to my second point that I want to talk to everyone about. Um, on YouTube, I've been watching quite a lot of videos about um, how transgender community use um, pronouns. And um, my stand on pronouns at the moment, I've told my, I came out to my friends as gender queer and they've all been absolutely fine with it, they've been fantastic with it. Um, but I said to them, at the moment, I'm okay with you using my female pronouns, I'm alright with you calling me female by my female name but uh, recently and especially when I'm in public places like supermarkets or out and I pass to people I don't know when one of them go says my name or uses a female pronoun and I get strange glances or looks off people I feel so uncomfortable and it kind of from also some of the videos that I watched um, 
the main thing that I was getting from guys who were talking about it was when female pronouns were used instead of their male pronouns they felt really uncomfortable and they felt like what they were trying to do wasn't being taken seriously well that's what I got from um, some of the videos anyway that I watched um, and that's kind of how I feel a little bit that I'm trying to be this person that I know who I am that I've been pretty much all I since I can remember um, not that I'm trying to prove it but it's just being who I am and when someone goes oh her she uses my female name um, it and I get weird looks it's the looks that get me more than anything I know they're not like they're not using the pronouns on purpose like saying oh she is not actually a he but the looks I get off people really do bother me um, they have been kind of maybe a trigger for these panic attacks that I've been suffering from since I started uni um, but yeah it does hit your confidence a little bit to say the least um, it almost like you've built up this who you are to people within like the first few minutes of meeting someone they think you're a guy they've called you but they've just completely passed you as a guy and then someone comes and just not so much just destroys it but I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say there um, yeah so that's that's been an issue at the moment um, I have spoken to a housemate about my name changing uh, I discussed it with him it just came up into conversation and I don't know if he's he's a bit weird about it at the moment. I don't think he quite understands fully what what I'm doing at the moment, um, which I don't really blame him because it is quite. It, I don't think that anyone that I've met so far has come across it before. But um, he's he, we did discuss it, and one of my mates who. I've spoken to about it has been making an effort to call me Alex. I haven't told anyone to call me Alex yet because I've just been thinking about it recently but she has been using the male pronouns and she has been calling me Alex and when she does it it does make me feel a lot more comfortable in myself. I do feel like what I'm doing is a good thing even though I, did, I didn't think it was a bad thing in the first place but it just it makes it feel right it makes it feel real and um my personal tutor started calling me it and he started um, addressing me as Alex and using male pronouns and it does, it feels right and it doesn't make me feel this like I'm trying to hide something, like I'm trying to prove something, it just makes me feel like I am, that's what I am, that's what I'm doing, it, just, it, it feels really good when um, I get called it so the moment I'm gonna try and talk to a couple more people about it until I actually like say look this is what I want you to call me um, I prefer to use male pronouns from now on it's gonna be weird I know it's gonna be really really weird um, I might not even respond sometimes but I'll use it on a select couple of people first and I'll see how it gets on if it feels a bit weird then I might leave it a little bit longer but looks like uh, having a different name is going to be on the cards. Um, what else do I want to talk about? There's something else. Oh, um, I'm starting to see a counsellor. Um, my personal tutor told me it would be a good idea if I did because I have been having a couple of problems recently and I haven't been able to get to uni because of panic attacks and because of other things. Um, so last last Monday, uh, I went to Liverpool, and I saw someone about starting counselling sessions, uh, which I think my first session is this Wednesday at one o'clock. So get the ball rolling on that that front. Um, where 
videos can I talk about? I think that was mainly it that I can think of at the moment. Um, I'm going to try and do more videos because it puts things into perspective for me and it helps me think about things and everything. Um, if anyone has any questions, you're more than welcome to comment. Um, and I will try and make another video. I might probably make one after my session on Wednesday just to let everyone know how it went and what's going on at the moment. So, that's all for now. And I'll hopefully speak to you all later. Bye.